Get out Are you feeling fire. okay? Don't fire. Yes, I'm fine. I'm the only one that's without you. <clears throat> okay then, where do we start? Have your memories come back? No, it comes in fragments. Same as you. Bits and pieces. Please tell me what you meant by saying we were comrades. Do you have dreams? Yes, I do. Well, what about them? Have you ever wondered if those dreams might be fragments of your past? That there might be something turning round and round in your heart, different from the way you are now? Have you ever had a rush of feelings? Wow, you're like saying more than one word since you begin your memory back. Well, you're still as fun to be with, though. Well, have you experienced anything like what Kaim is talking about? I'm not sure. You know that you're called the Thousand-Year-Old Queen, right? And your body is supposed to be immortal? Yes, but I don't know why I'm called that. Or, or why my body doesn't age. <laughs> I don't understand anything. That must be why Kakanis looks down on you. You've lost your purpose. It's just that... How should I put it? I often feel as though there's something terribly important that I'm forgetting. And it pains me. As though it may not be in my memories after all. But my heart remembers the pain. There have been many times recently when this has happened. My body wouldn't move like it was exhausted. And then I, I would collapse. When I felt this vague sense of unease coming on, I would often play the harp. And that would calm my mind. So that's what you were doing when we met? Yes. Kakanis frequently advised me to lift the country from its isolation. At those times, he recommended nothing more than expanding our information about the outside world. But it seems that his true objective was something else. Now, this is what they call fate. See, meeting me was predestined. That means Kakanis just played a role. He was a pawn to make it happen. All right, that's enough, buddy. <laughs> okay! All right! <laughs> Ming, I felt the same as you until recently. My memories were locked up. Your memories were locked up? You, me, Seth, and Sarah. And one more whose name that you as queen should know. The Urin sorcerer, Gungora. Yes, I'm aware that there is a sorcerer called Gangora, but... <sighs> the five of us were once comrades. We had a thousand-year agreement. We came to this world to accomplish something important. For that reason, we were made immortal. We don't age. When the end of the thousand-year agreement drew near, Gangora betrayed us. Though we couldn't die, he inflicted pain on us that was worse than death. Pain? What kind of... He deprived me of someone more important to me than myself. He cruelly stole her from me and inflicted a deep wound on my heart that can never be healed. I also had something important stolen from me. Gungora used magic energy to block my memories and seal them within me. After he wiped out our entire lives, we became like living corpses. And I too have had something very important stolen, and my memories locked away? Yes. What could possibly be so important? Don't push yourself. Take all the time you need to remember. Oh yeah, I have something to return to you. Return? To me? This really saved me. I met you before, didn't I? Yeah, 200 years ago. I borrowed this from you back then. I must meet with Gongora. That's what we plan to do. He's up to something that involves Grand Staff. We have to stop him. That has become our mission. Guess that means our destination is Ura, right? Hold on. 
If we go to Ura, we'll have to cross the ocean. In a boat like this, there's no way we'd make it. Even with your engine, sir? It's an old clunker. Oh, it's got power to burn. But the ship itself wouldn't be able to handle the strain. It would fall apart. Aww. Why don't we head for Goza? They've made the most progress with magic technology. I am the Queen of Numata. I shall request aid from the King of Goza in the name of our countries and for the world's future. Arthrosaurus. <laughs> I know it won't move, but you gotta hate to fight that thing. Look! Aunt Ming turned it to stone. And she saved the city. Whoa! You did that? Uh... <laughs> uh... Hey! Are you okay? It, it's nothing. Thanks. Hey, are you all right? Ming! You. Are you starting to... Are you remembering? It always hurts when I look at the Arthrosaurus. It, it was like this even back when I was in the palace. Why don't you go rest for a bit? You're just going to hurt yourself more if you try to remember. Thank you. Here, I'll help you. Why does Jensen get all mushy? It's love. Huh? I think that pain must mean her memories are coming back. What do you think? Yes. I have Lyrum to thank for getting my memories back. Ming will get hers back too. If she gives it a chance. I'll go speak with the king. We've never met, but I've heard he's very wise. I'm confident that he has a ship that can get us past the hypercurrents. <laughs> wow, that hit the spot. You know, I'm finally starting to feel at home. <sighs> no? Are you even listening to me? Well, ah, there's a time and place for that stuff, and... This is neither. Uh, tell me, is it really true you can't drink? Uh, yes. That is so sad. But you're a queen. I mean, don't you have wine or champagne at parties or banquets, hangings, uh, any festive thing like that? No. Hmm. Well, look it. Nobody knows us here. Come on, just give it a try. I guarantee you'll like it. Really. <sighs> it won't kill you, I promise. In fact... I bet if you take a couple drinks, you might get your memory back. Yeah, it relaxes the mind and other things. You think so? Absolutely. Hey, look at me. You're talking to Jansen here. Uh, Bottoms up. <laughs> Bottoms up. What? You don't like the cheap stuff? Um, no. It's just I've never tasted anything like it before. You don't have to force yourself to drink it. No, I want my memory back. If there's any chance this will help, I'll manage to drink it. Wow, that good. Are you uh, okay? Ooh, I feel very lightheaded all of a sudden. It's affecting me like you said it would. Oh, only your muscles yeah, well, are so... Oh! Oh. oh, no. Hmm. You know, you're cute when you're asleep. Jensen! Ah! What? Oh! What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, we've had a serious discussion about, you know, what's going to happen next and planning. Happen next? Yeah, 
you know, she's going to talk to the king and get us a ship, because yours can't float where the... You know, after all, Ghost has got the most advanced technology around. We figure we get a more seaworthy ship from him. So that, you know... What? All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time. But don't try any funny business with Ming. Yeah, well, I'm looking out for her, too, you know. I mean, look how restful she looks right now. 